Hundreds of students rallying outside Forts and High School in Dearborn this morning. The students told our team they organized the walkout and protest rally themselves in support of Palestinian people. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels joins us from the high school after talking with the Dearborn School District about what classes have been like as emotions run high. Right outside this high school here Thursday morning, hundreds of students rallied together chanting free Palestine. The emotion in their voices palpable as they spoke about a community that many of them have close ties to. Free, free Palestine! Free, free. Hundreds of students, many of Palestinian descent, organized and took part in Thursday's walkout at Fordson High School. I think oppression anywhere is oppression everywhere. We're coming together as a community to say we want no oppression at all. Students told our team it comes as they've been watching the news and videos on social media of the war in the Middle East. According to the Palestinian and Ministry of Health, thousands of people have died in Gaza. I just feel really sad. It's really sad on my life. No human should have to go through that. No child should have to go through that. Israeli authorities say the devastation comes as Hamas's surprise attack left more than 1,400 people dead in Israel, with at least 199 believed to be held hostage inside Gaza. The students told our team that they don't believe the Palestinian viewpoint is being shown. If they think this is fair and this is right, it's not, because they're not treating it equally. As a response to students' experiences and the war in the Middle East, Dearborn Superintendent has issued these open and letters detailing life inside of the classroom and resources being offered for students. There's stress, there's concern, there's sorrow, there's many emotions that are going on right now. In the letters, the superintendent of schools mentions that he's heard reports of students asking teachers what side they are on. He hopes teachers say they are on the side of peace and encourages students not to pick sides. He continues that there are psychologists and counselors available for students and staff at the school as they don't know what the days ahead will bring but pray for peace. That's what I want people to take away from this, that Dearborn is a community that stands together. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. In Dearborn, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News.